Alright, hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome back to this horrible mess. Okay, so, uh, right, we're on our way to go save that area, perfect. Massive bio-readings emanate from, in and around New Terra, with Cruel likely using the former capital as kind of spawning ground. Our sensors suggest the Cruel have a strong fleet presence as well, upgrading our fleet to handle the threat. There would be prudent. First, you'll need to construct a Tier 2 ship hangar, then build at least one Tier 2 starship before disputing the fleet there. Hey, they actually, like, kind of gated that. The last time... Oh, and the Rogue's Lar fleet has disappeared into space. I don't remember the Rogue's Lar fleet at all. It's okay, we have too many things to do here. So, let's go for the Adult Clipper first. It's gonna be a mess. We want to get our hands on that Tier 2 ship uh, set as soon as possible. I think we're well on our way to it. It's just mostly time-consuming. I don't know. It's a bit hard to remember. Played this game, what, two days ago? And it's already starting to go out of my head. I play too many games and it's very easy to lose track of everything. I'm slowly trying to batten it down, but there's always there's always something new. There's always something frustrating. And there's always something uh, there to distract me. How many status effects can you cram on one ship? The answer is yes. Okay. Uh, let's start walloping from for all he's got. We'll probably want to do a heal, but let's exploit what we got. Take out the... Yeah! Take one out right off the bat. This gets a lot easier. It's always that initial salvo that goes well. Everything thereafter usually stops being as efficient, but that's mainly because I have to wait for salvage harpoon and stuff to go off. I'd actually exploit the sensors offline. No. Oh, no, it's still going. Okay, let's let's exploit that before it goes away. Let's see, we don't have much. I could do warp atomic structure if I wanted to. We're not taking terribly much damage. I guess we'll do it. Uh, I don't know. It'll be fine. They've got crew panic now. Make a bleed again. Because what else are we going to do? Okay, and dimensional flashbang. Yeah, this is going to go by pretty fast. Ow. We'll be fine. Might as well patch up for the time being. I might, if I'm brave, I might go for uh, one of the portals. Actually, you know what? Let's exploit the engines. That did not do as much damage as I thought it was going to do. Well, that's okay. Uh, nothing I can do. I'll just shoot him. Upload virus. If we're lucky, we can get it so that he bleeds and dies. Not sure. I'm gonna bank on it. And death by bleeding. Perfect. Didn't even have to think about it. Okay. Uh, let's see. Fire at will. He's vulnerable. He doesn't have sensors down, which sucks. Or weapons disruption or anything. I guess we'll just do this, see if we can disable him. Keep going. Uh, no dice. Okay. Well, I can exploit the engines being down if I wanted to, but I figure... Let's... Just keep hitting him with stuff. I don't know. With the hull breach. Yeah. Like I say, uh, like I said earlier, the, the first salvo, combo, whatever you want to call it, always the most effective. Everything thereafter... It starts to become a little bit more chaos. Not bad chaos, just chaos. Well, I mean, we still win the battle, so I guess it doesn't matter too much. We get that. This planet should be freed. Let's see. Sadly, it looks like all the materials disappear from it uh, when they get attacked, which is a bit frustrating, but whatever. Okay, send fleet at Laris. So we need some more fuel. Send fleet. Convoy. We need to get that fuel. Luckily, we're directly next to some. Send fleet. Inch bots. Redirect fleet. Okay, lost some dark matter. That's fine. We get some extra materials. Hey! And Yilmaz. Uh, so let's go take a look at that. So... You do actually get a promotion for for being around here. Oh, interesting. We can't get any more melee moves. Well, I guess we might as well get 
any of these? I don't know. This guy is kind of fodder. Uh, mostly going to be used for melee combat. Okay, so we've got the starship hangar coming in. I guess... We could do propulsion lab? What can we do? Tempting. Yeah, let's have Yilmaz start researching that. Fuel efficiency would be useful. Okay, there's some fuel. And let's take out the... Let's take out this. At this point, the portals have become a bit of a problem. More will open up, I can guarantee it. But it's a good time for me to sit down right now and take them. Uh, take another one out. Oh, we didn't get the slowdown. Well, do we get the sensors offline? No! We are not having a good time of it here. Well, hopefully that's not, this is not a sign of worse things to come. Usually not. We'll see, okay, there's the engines down. Now we can start hitting them. Uh, hull breach. See if I can kill him with our combos. Nope, we're almost there. And of course he gets healed. Well, this is, this is not looking good. Probably should have exploited that. Let's do nano repair. So you do have fire at will. Should be okay. That nano repair overdrive is like the best thing ever. Okay, so a little bit of a delay, but it worked fine. I love the backgrounds in this game. Ow. Okay. Oh, I was supposed to exploit that. Whatever. Uh, let's heal up. Okay. Let's see if I can stun him. Because if I can stun him, damn it. I was hoping I'd be able to stun him and keep the, uh, the sensors offline for a time. Whatever, I guess we'll just do teleport explosives, which does do a fair amount of damage. It's just that base effect, not so great. Uh, it does have weapons disruption. Let's see if I can stack this, the uh, stunning. No, not really. Oh, he's still disabled. He's not blinded, though. Which sucks. I guess I'll just hit him with one to the propulsion. Blind him? Alright. Now we can start shooting at them. Ish. I mean, we've already been shooting at them. You guys know what I mean. So, give me the one-two combo. The one very much two. Okay, exploit that sensor's offline. Normally I wait, but today I'm feeling impatient. And if we're lucky, the damage over time is going to take them out the rest of the way. Or, that solves that problem. Okay, let's do a repair overdrive on the rogue. It's starting to look a little bit worse for the wear. Might actually start doing repair overdrives across the board. I don't know yet. Uh, guess I might as well heal him up. Okay. So much broadside salvo. Yeah, looks like we might actually be able to hit him before the uh, sensors offline uh, goes away. Good. I'm bad at exploiting that one because I get distracted by literally everything else. But I guess that's okay too. Okay, so he's got engines down. You know what? It's about his turn. Let's see if I can stun him. Damn it. Well, I tried. Didn't work, but I tried. Guess we'll just do fire at will. Not that it's particularly useful for what we're doing. It just helps. We got this. Two HP left. Eh, it doesn't matter. There he goes. Okay. Uh, so we got that taken care of. A lot of dark matter. We've been getting tons of dark matter. Okay. Seems that the portal... Of the Okay, so that just means that's closed. Oh. This. What? That's... This is new Terra. No, I have no idea. Whatever. We'll just send the hench bots this direction. And I'm probably going to send them home. We're going to leave one fleet open for the time being. Okay. So, the reason why I was I was going to say, well, we want to head back. I'll leave the convoy out here. It'd be nice if we could... I'll just keep sending the hench box back. It's a little bit expensive fuel-wise, but it's probably worth it. Okay. 
It doesn't cost me any more fuel. Okay. Transfer, leave. Okay, here we go. So is this the, um... This is our T2. Ship construction. Okay. So faster ship construction is not going to work so great. However, we can boost it up at least here. No. That's going to take 150 days. That's not even worth it. Okay, where are you headed? To Locris. That's Altair, Westerland. Locris. Okay. Synfleet. Henchbots. Well, I was going to go back, but then they decided to do that instead. Okay, let's keep sending the convoy around. We need more fuel, obviously. But we'll deal for the time being. I should probably actually bring the convoy back, come to think of it. Okay, let's start Let's start making that, that approach. Let's see, Propulsion Labs finished its task. Okay, so that's a bit of fuel efficiently. Let's see, let's see if I can, um... Let's see if Yilmaz can do it. In 11 days. Okay, that's much better. And actually, while we're here, let's do ship construction. Oh, we don't have the science for any of them yet. Okay, so we've got the Crusader. Honestly, we should probably get the Crusader first. And let's see if I can make it. Okay. Yeah, so we'll have everything plus... Ooh! Release mines. All enemies exploits engines down. Yes? I really wish I could actually preview some of these things, but still. Start making that. That's going to take six days. Guess the whole ship construction speed upgrade is not worth going for. Okay, that's fine by me. Okay. And got a group to fight. Easy group to fight. Well, that's always that's always a good sign. Good feeling? I don't know. Okay. I'll hit him with the salvage harpoon. Might as well stack the status effects first. Then start going for other things. Okay. Now we start lighting him up. I'll just do a regular portal cannon. Yeah. Kill him before he even gets healed. Nope. Well, that's obnoxious. And problem solved. Okay. Could have been worse. Let's lead in with the heal. I don't think we really need it. We took, like, a little bit of damage there, but... Eh, eh, I don't know. Whatever. Broadside Salvo. And then... Let's see if the bleed... If the blind goes away. Nope. Alright, let's exploit that before it's gone. Like I said, I'm really bad at exploiting that one. Uh, let's see if I can stun him. These guys are pretty weak, but it's always best to... You know, not just faff around. If I get the chance. Okay, so now we can do dimensional flashbang. Not that we really need to. We just can. Okay, so we've pretty much got the resources for every ship we could want. The only problem is we don't have the uh, the base materials for it. However, my bet is, the moment we return home, with both these guys, let's just return home, because it's free for both. That'll save me some. Okay, fair amount of materials and dark matter, which means we can get the next ship tech. I really, really wish I could see the, see what these looked like before I bought them. I mean, I could always get more. Or we could buy the base level. Let's buy the base level research. I know I want the archer ship. The archer was amazing. And honestly, I guess I could get both of these. They're not too expensive. Hell, looks like I can almost get all of them. Just not the Guardian. Well, that's fine. Let's see what our options are. So, we know a Crusader works great with engines down. Let's... So, there's that. What's the warder have? Disintegrate hull. Disable countermeasures. Repair drone. 
All right, what, what about science? So we've got the Sorcerer and the Magus. Sorcerer does more damage, has more hull, less evasion, more speed. So what's the difference? Inflicts crew panic. panic. Okay, so adaptive armor is a heal, all allies. Torture, inflicts torture, exploits weapons, disruption. The other one is Magus, which is what we're used to with the ad addition of protective field. Personally, not... Like, on one hand, it's not great. On the other hand, it's not bad either. Because this guy does not really... Um, doesn't really work with our current setup unless... Okay, so we've got the Ronin and the Archer. Let's see which one we want. So... Looks like the Ronin's what we're used to. And this is the Archer. So exploits vulnerable, not great. Inflicts weapons disruption. Exploits vulnerable. Exploits sensors offline. So... If we had somebody that made... That created vulnerabilities... This would work better. Okay. Let's wait for our ships to come back. And then I think we're going to go punch some pirates in the face. That is not a whole lot of materials. Alright. Well. Seeing as we're just wasting it here. Let's send out the convoy again. And what's this? Oh, that's Admirax Zeb. Savak Shriekers. All right, let's let's go get some easy let's go get some easy pickings while we sit and think here. We'll probably get the remaining materials pretty fast. Transfer fuel. Good. Let's see how are you guys looking. Pretty full. Up. I just realized I never stopped here, unless this is. Oh, what? Huh. That's interesting and kind of broken. Well, I ain't gonna question it. Okay, basic pirate fighty time. Let's flashbang you. In retrospect, flashbanging him was kind of unnecessary. He is very, very weak. Well, whatever. Okay. Yeah, I remember really liking the archer last time. Uh, problem was... Problem is, I don't have a good combo here. I cannot believe he didn't die from that. You'd think by that point, your entire, your entire ship would be just kind of non-functional at 1 HP. But I guess the point of this is it's it's not realistic. Okay, let's exploit that sensors offline. Well, not much to it. We'll heal up. Might as well run around hitting all of these these guys for at least a little bit. Okay. Seriously, do not remember the, the Zlar fleet that was mentioned earlier on in this episode. I'm kind of curious about that. But I also don't care too much. Okay. Well, this is an easy fight. Yeah, usually you're supposed to go for the pirates almost immediately, but I often kind of let things... Uh, remain. And just kind of let it snowball problem-wise. Okay, incoming hypercast. Federation officers, this is Savak. I lead the Shriekers. You have just now destroyed my secondary fleet. I am impressed. Moreover, I may be of service to you. My location is visible to you. Come listen to my proposal. And you and I, together, can stop this madness. Okay, so, the Shriekers, a pilot, pirate clan under the command of the collective Renegade Savak, is active in the tit yo -Say system. We should intercept them as soon as possible. Defeat the Shrieker fleet, or talk to them. Alright, so we'll send in the henchbots. Uh, and this also means we have just enough materials so I can finally get the... So I can also get the Guardian tech. Technically, maybe I shouldn't do that. I don't know. We'll find out. Uh, let's do ship construction. Is the Guardian. So... I see. So the Guardian, on the flip side, has disable countermeasures. Um, which is the regular attack and inflicts vulnerability on everything. Weapons disruption. Yeah, so both of these exploit weapons disruptions. He inflicts it. So there is there is definitely a combo there. 
And I liked the Archer class ship, but I think I'm going to go Ronin for this one. And mainly because I don't know what targeting support does. Teleport explosives is a little eh. But the the age-old combination move that I've got rolling is pretty solid. Not to mention I'm already making a Crusader, and I love the Crusader's sprite just that much more. Plus, Brace is kind of useless. Yeah, okay, so let's... I mean, the other alternative is we actually... Hmm. Maybe if I had the right officers. Let's back out for a second. Okay, let me take a look at what moves you have. So he doesn't do anything for vulnerability. Just Isold? So Drone Swarm, Self. Yeah, so it's that one. And nothing else. Because you don't have anything. Yeah, and these are all melee moves. Yeah, yeah, we'll just we'll just stick with our formula. Go for a single target. The multi-target's useful, but currently not functional for what we want to do. Okay, so let's make a Ronin. And a Magus. Okay. So this does mean we should not get attacked for a while. We are very low on manpower. But everything else is probably okay. Uh, let's see. Do I have an officer that can do this? Sure. Bucky Rogers needs the experience anyway. Holy crap, he is useless. I shouldn't have done that. Well, uh, can I cancel that? There we go. Okay. Whew. I was worried. Yeah, the problem is we want Bucky Rogers to fight things here. Because uh, that's the only way he's going to level. But until we do, we don't have much of a choice. Okay. So, Savak, Federation officer, this one has a renumerative proposal for you. Please affirm if you'd like to hear specifics. Take another course and I will instead apply pressure outside the bounds of speech. Uh, collective pirate, how'd that come about? Thanks to a happy accident and a combination with perhaps a rare disposition, this one is no longer of the collective. Rather, this one is Savak, a collective of one, if you please. Nice name, Savak. Doesn't sound particularly com collective. Negative. Its origins were a popular list of pseudonyms. Savak ranked in a high percentile of both concision and grandiosity, and thus was chosen. Additionally, I liked it. Okay, but you're a pirate? Yes. Care to explain? Oh, thanks to a happy accident. Okay. Okay, so tell me about this proposal. My proposal eliminate the Admirax and others who might aspire to be Admirax, and Savak could be the presence you wish. Interesting. What would it entail? I've studied the Halcyon Sector pirates extensively in my time with them. They value strength and would follow Savak, and Savak has no interest in star bases or the Federation, and as such will not interfere with you. And all we have to do is eliminate Willa, commander of the Wraithers, and in exchange, Savak will provide the location of the Admirax's asteroid feet. fleet. Savak will handle the forces of Cut, the Zlar. Additionally, Material and dark matter will be provided to your starbase in stages. One portion immediately, another one will is neutralized, and the last portion when the Admirax is rooted from his nest. Ah, sure, why not? Excellent! Expect the resource advance to reach your station promptly. It'll eliminate Willa, Willa, and you will hear from Slovak no more. Be interesting if we actually killed all of them. Okay, let's go see about Willa's Wraithers. Be funny if we actually killed everybody, but I don't think we can do that. No more pirates. It'd also, be nice if I could get uh, materials from from these. I don't know. Like, it's always weird that only the Terran bases let me get materials. It'd be nice if I could actually like um, barter with with pirate bases or something for supplies. But I guess they're really just here as a questing area and too many. Easy resources would be, well, too easy. 
Okay, engine's down. Let's see if I can get him with the disruption. If he can't move, this gets easy. But then again, this is already easy. Like, too easy, really. Oh, shoot, is my, um... My ship might be done, actually. It might be done in, like, a, cu a couple of in-game hours, but still. Okay, there's some base resources. Oh, it's old Freehold is now level 7, which means we get Drone Swarm. Yes? Please. Drone Swarm is amazing. Interestingly enough, it looks like only my main officer gets to have their epic move. Which sucks. I was kind of hoping they'd all get one. Oh, well. I love Drone Swarm. It's my favorite. Okay. Transfer materials to the fleet. Okay, we get the upgrade the fleet system. Okay, there's our Crusader class starship. No officers available. We'll leave that for later. Let's finish this off. Okay, Willow the Commander of the Racers is hailing us, sir. Cyborg scum have accent you, didn't he? Typical Federation move, siding with the Nefarious Collective. No matter, it looks like I get to add a, new, mo a few more Federation corpses to my tally. And we just fight him immediately, but that's, I mean... Not too worried about this. Eh, let's just hit him with the engines down. The old one-two punch should work pretty well. On a flimsy little 200, 200 health. Uh, not... Not... It's not even a ship. It's just a sad. Okay, so that's Willa and that's his buddy. Honestly, kind of feel like going for Willa first. At this point, I usually just go for the ship with the least amount of HP and go from there. So he's not bleeding. Let's see if I can disable him. He's got weapons disrupted, so I might be able to... Yeah. Oh, right. I could do my uh, super move if I wanted to. Or not. Let's exploit that sensors down, seeing as we still have it. Let's see. Let's do the heals up. We've got plenty of antimatter, but I'd still also prefer to... Uh, you know, save it-ish. Yeah, not much I can do here. We'll just alternate. Blast him. There we go. Easy peasy. Yeah, I'm, I'm curious if there's a way to go about this in such a way that every pirate is dead. Maybe? I guess if I rejected all proposals, that might work. Or maybe just the the last one alive comes out as the, the new pirate Admirax. I don't know. It also doesn't matter too much. Let's make him bleed for the time being. Uh, let's see. Nothing on sensors offline. I guess we can just do this. Probably would have been better if I just shot him. I don't think we're going to really get to use the full effect of sabotage. Mainly, I don't think he's going to live for four rounds. I guess I'll just shoot him. I'm just surprised my knight didn't get a turn. Oh, because it got disabled. I didn't even notice. That's what I get for not paying attention. But then again, I also win. So there's that too. Okay. Terran friends, you have this one's thanks for dispatching Willa. I have dispatched the rewards we agreed upon. And your star, smart, bleh, star map is updated with the Admirax's location. Victory is now within your grasp. Best not let it slip. And we get some extra bonuses. And whose lot? Wait, 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 wait. Noble Federation opponent, you have proved your worth as a noble and brave combatant. And I, Lot, of the Zlar Yanthu, once served for years in a na station... Wait, in a state facility for aggravated bravery. In fact, you are so worthy that I, Lot, he who jump kicks sharks, bestow upon you my greatest secret, the location of my materials hoard. You will want to follow these coordinates right away, I'm sure. So uh, just ignore my escape shuttle. Nothing to see here. Move along. Okay, so we got that taken care of. And I guess we also have something about a material hoard? Where is it? Defeat the Admirax. Aquila. Well, I might as well send my fleet in. I'm not terribly worried about 
issues. Let's send in the convoy over here. Honestly, this is probably a great time to end the episode, but let's go see about this materials catch. Actually, no, you know what? Let's leave that for next episode. See you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Day 150. Eh, doing pretty well. Horde. I know that's not how you spell it. Don't get angry at me. It was intentional.